NASCAR and the CW is coming a year earlier than expected. Move over, Superman and Lois. The Live Golf, go ahead and take a day off because the NASCAR Xfinity Series is coming to the CW this year for the final eight races of the NASCAR Xfinity schedule. And you're probably wondering, that's very odd. You're all right, it is very odd. So essentially, the CW will take over broadcasting Xfinity Series races, the Bristol night race for the Xfinity Series. That will be the cutoff race, and then they'll continue to carry the rest of the season for them. Yes, it's very odd. It's it's surprising, to say the least. It's not shocking, because when you think about it a little bit more, it, it makes a little bit of sense. And it's not shocking in the way that, like, Trackhouse buying Ganassi was shocking. It's more surprising in the way, like, David Gillen going to Robert Yates Racing. But it all makes sense. The CW is set to take over the NASCAR Xfinity Series as part of a new seven-year deal starting in 2025. NBC, of course, is getting out of the Xfinity Series game because everybody is. That's not named the CW. So why not have the CW carry the final eight races of the season? Essentially, what NBC is doing here is selling off those final eight races and being like, you guys can have it. You guys go ahead and put them on your channel because that now frees up space on network NBC as well as USA. And NBC does have a number of programs, live of sports, especially in the fall, like college football, that they would much rather have on network and on their channels than the Xfinity series. No offense to the Xfinity series. It certainly just doesn't get the ratings that college football does um, in the fall. So Moving it over to the CW makes a lot of sense. The CW also does have ACC football in the fall, but they will be making room for the Xfinity Series schedule. So NASCAR announced that NBC will continue to produce these races, though. So starting in 2025, let me backtrack here. Starting in 2025, the CW will take over the Xfinity Series. NASCAR Productions will produce those races through their new production facility in Concord. So NASCAR Media will produce those races. They'll be shown on the CW, and that's how that's going to work. For these final eight races this year, this year alone, these final eight races will be produced by NBC, broadcast on the CW, and the booth will maintain what it was from NBC, meaning that Rick Allen will continue to be the lead, Steve Letarte and Jeff Burton will be there as color commentary uh, in the booth, just like it has been, just like it will be for the NASCAR Cup Series. What is a little bit surprising here is the fact that Rick Allen will be doing this because it seems like Rick Allen might be in a bit of a contract here with NBC. Will he become the lead broadcaster full-time on the CW for the Xfinity Series in 2025? That remains to be seen. But we do know that Lee Diffie and Rick Allen will be splitting time as the lead commentator, as the lead on the NASCAR Cup Series broadcast. So having Rick Allen move over and be sort of the voice of the Xfinity Series, because I'm sure Lee Diffie will have some races there to do, certainly during those final eight, is a little bit of a like, oh, maybe we're going to connect the dots here type of situation. And for NBC, they have a big summer coming up, right? They have the NASCAR Cup Series that they'll be taking over. They have the Olympics in the fall. They have Notre Dame football as well as other football games to go along with that. So them clearing up a little bit of space makes sense. And them wanting to sort of, sort of not downsize, but streamline their talent again makes sense. If I swear, if we get, if we get Jack Collinsworth calling NASCAR Cup Series stuff again, I, I will riot. I'll go down. I'll go to Jack's house. I'll go over there. Well, maybe to his dad's house and be like, "You got to stop him. This nepotism has just gone too far right now." But for the Xfinity Series broadcast, this makes a lot of sense, and for the fans, it's a win-win. So the fans now. Not only do you still get to see those final eight races, they will also be on network, free to air TV. If you have a digital receiver, you can get it. You don't need a cable subscription. You don't need a streaming subscription. You can watch the Xfinity series. It's much more accessible than what the Cup series will be when those races are on USA. And like the Xfinity races, if they would have been on USA, of course you have to have a cable subscription to be able to watch those. Now you don't. So for fans, this is a win. And I think that's probably the biggest takeaway from all of this. So to recap, the final eight races of the season will be on NBC. So to recap here, all eight races at the final, the final eight races of the Xfinity Series schedule this year will be on the CW. NBC will continue to produce those races. The NBC booth will continue to call those races. They'll just be on the CW. And like I said, it kind of frees up space for NBC in the fall, to whether that's to have Big Ten football, Notre Dame football, or something else on. They are now moving those races over to the CW. A bit of a win-win, a bit of an odd situation. We don't typically see it happen in NASCAR. We have seen it happen in other sports, of course, where you have, you know, ESPN maybe trading 
talent or a couple of dates getting something back in return so at the end of the day i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing at all i just think that you know it's surprising and for nascar to do it i this isn't really that late into the season but it's a bit of a beta run it allows them to get their feet wet with the cw the cw gets a taste of what they're going to have in 2025 and it lets them sort of hash out any sort of problems that they would have with the NASCAR production facility, because I assume NBC is still producing these races, but it's going to have something to do with the NASCAR production offices as well. Everybody here gets to have uh, a trial run in a sense. And sure, it's during the playoffs, which maybe isn't the best time to do a trial run, but it's better to do it now than it is to show up in Daytona and be like, oh man, we don't know what the hell we're doing. Sorry for cussing. So we'll get to figure it out together here. All of us are in this together, but for now, I think it's a win for everybody involved, and we're getting it a half a year earlier. Remains to be seen if it will still be called the Xfinity Series in 2025. We'll have to sit around and wait for that. I highly doubt that it'll be called the Xfinity Series um, in 2025. I think NASCAR more than likely is going to find a new title sponsor. Whether Xfinity wants to continue or not remains to be seen. They are going to have to decide they want to have a new title sponsor or if they want to do what they have sort of like with the Cup Series. Uh, whether they just call it the Grand National Series or something along those lines, uh, get Bush back. I think we'd all be fine with that. But they have a decision to make there. And the CW, of course, will carry whatever NASCAR's second tier division is called starting in 2025. So let me know in the comments what you think about this move. I honestly love it. I think it's totally fine. Yes, it's going to be a bit confusing for people because there's a lot of schedules all over the internet that have, you know, the start times and the network next to them that are going to have to be updated because an in-season change like this is very odd. Typically, you'll be like, oh, the race got moved off of cable to network or moved from cable or from network to cable within the same family. So you're like, oh, okay, that's not that bad. Moving to a completely different network uh, is, is very odd. So everybody, figure out where the CW is on your channel by the time we get to Bristol in the fall because you're going to need to know where that's at. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.